So tonight we have Kizuna, the Enduring Bonds. It was the kanji that was chosen in 2011 when the nuclear tsunami and earthquake took place. Um, enduring Bonds. So between all of us. And um, what I realized when I uh, initially I went to Japan, I was sent by a philosopher, a Belgian philosopher that I met 10 days after uh, the tsunami. And he uh, asked me to go to Japan and to find great artists who could create a moment of silence in the viewer. It took me three years to find one artist um, that pleased him. And she was a Shodo master. So you'll see on the left side, um, this is Shodo. You'll have the story of the crane. On the right side of the room, you'll see the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire. And you will have uh, three incredible artists tonight. I'll talk a little bit about them, even though they're not here yet. Uh, Ayumi Nabata is the pianist and composer. And when she had read it, she had tears. And she said, I want to create music for this book, for this story. And so that's what you have tonight. And she is the one who introduced me to the saxophonist. Then we have Miko Shimura. So they brought me to a performance where I saw this dancer, and immediately I knew it was the crane. So I went up to her and I said, you are a crane? And she agreed, and so she's here tonight as well.
intuitive dancer. Uh, you saw that it was very unique with the pianist playing and they were interacting at each moment, including with the live electronics. And the breath, the breath that was behind it. Thank you, you can take a uh, Would you like to say something? Um, thank you for all the people who are behind, <laughs> helping us all those days, uh, giving us very good advice and uh, being with us. Yeah. And uh, to create that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, there were many people involved. First of all, their work is tremendous um, because they felt the paintings. And every artist will interpret things differently, but there was a, I felt a, a large process of losing our feathers, our beliefs that we hold so dear. Um, maybe in the last three years, it was easier to shed. We had to do it. Uh, to be eventually free and transparent, to become a thread we leave our heaviness, all our beliefs behind. And that's sometimes the biggest crisis because we have the outside crisis, but when you have to let go of what you really thought was true, that's quite a crisis. And I thought that the, the way they interpreted showed that struggle and then the freedom that came after. So I hope you remember that too when in your life you, will, you also face things, all of us together. Uh, and as we were saying, we were threads and then we were helped all along the way. Um, I'd like a few people to stand up. Can you come up a little just? So we have a photographer here, Julian Van den Jod. He took professional photographs of each of the paintings. With gold, it's extremely difficult. Um, he also made the feathers. Um, he's uh, incredible with anything, he's also an artist, but he, a photographer and a master in everything that's digital um, for productions as well for the Belgium TV. Um, so if you need someone exceptional, wear threads and you'll be able to have a drink now and walk around and do introduce yourselves. Uh, we also have other people, Steph, can you come up please? Yeah, he doesn't, he's hiding, but he was the artist that I met by chance. There's no chance meeting. Uh, he was right before me exposing on Mount Fuji the most incredible paintings, and I hope to work with him again. He also set up all the paintings. He's, most artists like myself are a bit disorganized, but he is also an engineer. And so with perfection, uh, he taught us how to do it. Yeah, and Tilly. Thierry, who is now, we will uh, change the camera. Uh, he's behind the camera. He's filming tonight so that our friends in Japan, after March 11th, I like to write a little note to all the people that did a lot in Japan and send them something. And I'd like to send them this performance and also that we're still thinking of them. Uh, there still is struggle. And uh, Thierry came all the way from Paris today to film uh, and to be with us. Um, I am surely forgetting people. Utashiro-san? Is she hiding? We, okay, Utashiro-san, uh, Japanese, okay. Hi, dozo, onegaishimasu. Okay, Utashiro-san uh, helped organize. We must have sent a thousand emails to each other. Uh, and every time I was opening one, it was a joy. So this is an incredible team. Um, I hope, I'm sure I've forgotten people. Um, please know that I'm in great gratitude. We're all in great gratitude. So for the rest of the evening, please enjoy the paintings um, and the threads that are around you. Introduce yourself. Um, and thank you very much for coming. Uh, we really enjoyed being with you, and you were part of the artwork. The movie that will come out, uh, as you exit, there's a QR code, and some of you may win a prize with a little hand-drawn drawing by me. 
Um, and you will have the QR code and once it's uploaded, you will see the video and you may be on it, obviously, since you also are the greatest art. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you all of the staff. Thank you. Yeah. Fuji-san, thank you, the director. Yes, and Weda, obviously the ambassador who has set the tone for everyone here. Okay, gratitude and thank you for being part of the art tonight, that you're all creators.